Hello there, this is the video where I show advancement coordinators and other people how to record achievements. That would be things like badges, patches, sports pins, not service stars though, when you're in troop track. First of all, let's look at my person. I am Ilona in this scenario, and I wanted to show you the privileges that you will need in order to be able to do this. First of all, if you wanna see everyone in the troop, you will have to have access level set to troop. If it's unit or household, you'll only see people in your unit and household or just your household depending on your access level. Um, you will also need to edit achievement records. I hope that's self-explanatory. And for the first way I'm gonna show you, you have to have the manage events privilege as well, otherwise it will not work. So um, I'm gonna show you a couple different versions. First of all um, is one that's where the, um, the achievement is based on an event that was attended. For example, a troop meeting, the, the unit, the badge work that the units did, or maybe you went on a camp. So you go in the calendar, you go to that event. And this is why you need the um, manage events privilege, because if you don't have it, you won't see this button here and some of the other things. So this is the button you're interested in. Notice you can only do this for events that have already happened and it helps if you've already taken attendance because when you click on this, you get a list of all the people that were invited, but the ones who are absent are not marked and the ones who attended are check marked and you already have the date inserted. Now, this was a camp out or maybe if it was a unit meeting, this would apply as well. Maybe you only wanted to do it for the Pioneer Patriots, for example. Now, be sure the filter is great for that, but before you filter anything, be sure to check this attended box, then filter, and I'm gonna filter all of that, then check this back on. And then let's say Kimmy was only there for a part of camp and she didn't actually earn it, I'm gonna uncheck her. Now, the reason I told you to do that is if we take this filter off, you notice how these ladies are now unchecked. If I had not done that, if I had left these all and then filtered, and taken off, oh, Kimmy's not there. But now you see if I take my filter off, all of those other people who were hidden are still selected. So be sure, turn off attended, then filter, then turn on attended again and make the changes you need to make. And then you pick whatever they worked on and that was, uh, where is it? Um, fire safety so we're gonna pick fire safety now I would recommend a lot of times you'll see this all requirements completed that's fine if you use it for certain patches I would not use it for badges though because you do want to have to have a more accurate record be sure that you mark which ones they actually did and then always remember to find that button at the bottom record progress save update whatever it is always find the button at the bottom that sends the information to TroopTrack and saves it for you. So that is one way. If you have um, achievement that was earned uh, as part of an event, a troop meeting, a camp out, a special event, whatever, this is great as well for patches. So let's say you have a father-daughter dance, you go to that, you say, um, and you can just leave all the girls checked and then apply the badge or the custom award if, if it's that, that you're gonna, um, get for them. Now, if you look at here's updated, it tells me that it has indeed been done. Okay, what about the situation where I want to do a lot of girls, but it's not based on an event? For example, maybe it's the pen pal patch. You want to assign the girls who are receiving that, or my mom is a leader, or whatever it is. So in that case, I recommend achieve record progress bulk. And what you get now, it looks very similar, but instead of attended and absent, you now have the girls sorted by unit. So let's say um, the Pathfinders did something on their own that they're gonna get something for. You could turn on all the Pathfinders, or you could turn on, let's say we wanna do my, dot, my, my mom is a leader, but notice how like to find all these girls, not real useful. So instead of by unit, you can click sort by name. Now, if you've already sorted, done any girls or entered the date, <clears throat> it pretty much refreshes the screen. So do that right away if you're going to use it. And now I can select all the people that I want to do by name, um, put in some kind of date, and then put in, 
Where's the pen pal badge? Okay, it does. I forgot it doesn't work that that way. But um, let's give them Heimlich Heroes, even though that's probably event based. But maybe it was at another troop, for example, and it wasn't on our calendar. So there we go. Um, we've now assigned it that way. So that's really good if you have certain girls, but it's not event-based. And remember, you can sort by unit or by name. Um, and then finally, if there's an individual girl, maybe she did badge work at home, maybe she caught up on, on a unit requirement that she missed, there's the Achieve Record Individual Progress. And now what you'll do is you'll get to this first page where you have to get the girl. And then you get to the second page, and this is where it can be useful. For example, maybe she did the cycling badge. I'm going to do Control F or Squiggly F if you're a Mac. And if I start typing cycling, you see how it just highlights it and jumps right to it. So there's this one here, and sure enough, there's another one. I could find it this way as well, Competitive Cycling Sports Pin. So I'm going to mark that she did the cycling badge. You cannot, you can only do one at a time at this point. You can always go back and edit it if you want to. And then you would go and pick the things that she did. And again, um, if you, rather than scrolling, sometimes I use the end button on my keyboard. That puts me all the way to the bottom because you always have to find that button at the very bottom. So those are the three ways. Um, there is technically another way you could add individual progress, either find the girl on the manage units page or another way I like to do this maybe I'm looking for this power search. If you start typing a name or something else, like a, um, a command that you wanna do, it will um, give you some shortcuts here. So I can find um, Talon here and then go to achievements. I do want to mention something about this because when you start achievement, let's say she did this back to back ministries, she did Bible bells, she's a daughter of a leader, and she got um, Veterans Day patch, whatever. Um, and you can scroll. I mean, there's obviously more stuff. I want to be very, uh, I wanted to mention, you see, Bible Bells added here, back to back added here. What about the other two that I added? Some of them that are specifically set for explorers, like all of the badges um, will show up here. Some, a few patches will show up here, but almost everything else that's not a badge, patches, um, religious awards, everything else under achievement, a lot of them will show up here. So if you add something and you do not see it and you're going crazy because it's not in this list anymore, but it's also not in this list, you got to remember to look under other. And this happens as well, even if you do bulk progress for a patch, for example, and you're like, where did it go? I just did the steps she told me to do and it's not there. It is there. You just need to look under other. Now, in this case, since I added it here, it's set to zero. And so now I would need to hit edit and this is where I would just since it's a patch there's no requirements I just mark a date and now it'll calculate and if you refresh it should show as a hundred percent so and we're back on Explorer so there it is so those are some ways that you can record achievements